Good morning, coffee nerds, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Latte, where we let the fates decide our morning coffee. The series is inspired by Roll for Sandwich, as made popular by Adventures in Ardia. Let's roll. This week, we are pulling out these fun little pink and blue clear dice set from Riftgate Games in Utah. Shop small. Let's get into it with our D8 espresso roll. Six, Mud House. This retro-inspired cafe opened in Springfield, Missouri in 1998 to create a cozy environment and a local option in the historic downtown area. And that is achieved in their very warm and friendly environment that they created. We are using their house espresso blend and to be totally upfront, I'm not 100% sure that Mud House actually roasts their own beans as neither their website or social media can confirm it. I did a fairly deep dive. Either way, these beans are super easy to dial in and created a beautiful shot. Just look at it. Oh, uh, up next, we'll go ahead and see what style we're going with. Four, hot. Ooh, we're on fire. He's on fire! Oh, have our handy dandy milk pitcher at the ready. And now we'll go ahead and see what vessel this is going in. Four. It's Bill Stein. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's Beer Stein. Okay, now our bases are covered. Let's roll our wild magic. Ten. That's double syrup. Let's grab a guest D12 and see what we get. Okay, five for boozy botanicals and ten for caramel. Starting out, we have the boozy botanicals from Made in KC. This is a three pepper blend using Anaheim and Jalapeno, which are both mild peppers, and Serrano, which brings a bit of heat with 10 to 25,000 Scoville units. We'll go ahead and get a good amount in there and drop in our espresso just to mix it up. And we'll grab our Tarani caramel sauce. Don't forget to measure with your heart. There it is. Now for our D8 milk roll. One, coconut. So I'm admittedly not the biggest fan of coconut as it's not one status now. And our local grocer was out of the typical coconut milk. So we have a more traditional and fat filled canned version. Hmm, this steamed up like yogurt. I was able to get some air, but it was a bit too thick to Whirlpool, so there's no microfoam in this. Sad latte. So we'll quickly move on to our most entertaining portion where we flip, flip for whip. Oh no, no whip and sip this time. And so on to our D10 topping roll. Nine, that's waffle cone pieces. These sweet yet salty bites could top nicely, but without whip, they're sure to get soggy fast. I'll just corral all these little ones. And okay, it's not the worst to look at. Let's give it a go. Cheers. First sip. Okay, it's coconut. This overpowering flavor is a characteristic of all coconut, which I'm not always opposed to, but in coffee, it has to be an opportune moment. It surprisingly sustained the steaming pretty well though. The waffle cone pieces are basically disappointing boba. The espresso by itself had a bit of tobacco nutty flavors and butteriness to it. Definitely kicked its way through to give a bit more depth to the drink. I am a bit disappointed as the three pepper syrup only catches the back of the palate and it was almost all but annihilated. Last sip. This drink is getting rated at a 5.3 and we'll call it the Coco Not Today. Stay nerdy and dirty and we'll see you next week. <laughs>